This is a lever action Marlin 22 Remfire. And I've had this gun since I was eight years old. Is it your favorite? This is one of my favorite guns, yes. Yep. Well, well, I, I grew up with this gun. When, since you're eight years old? Since I was eight years old so at that time, <clears throat> it had iron sights on it. But it, when my eyesight started to wither, I had to put a piece of glass on the top called a telescope. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had that gun for over 75 years. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. They still make rim fires. And the fact of the matter is that uh, I took it back to the factory and had a new barrel put on it. No kidding. Because uh, the old barrel was worn out. No kidding. Hmm. Yep. And uh, now this gun is the one that saved your life. This is it. This is it. Yep. And there's that the raccoon, raccoon that paid for it. Me. And he bit you, and there's your, your there's, bite mark. There's, there's my wounded finger. And he took a real punk chunk oh, out of yes, you. Yes, he took a chunk out of my finger. But yeah. no more chokes from Dr. Lamb. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, this is a reenactment of what happened to Dr. Lamp when he All got right, bit we by were, the rabid we were, raccoon. We were probing the inner makings of the garage with Howard in the lead here, straighten your collar out here. We might be on Hollywood there. <laughs> and you can see it's a it's an atrocious mess, and he was supposed to clean this up, but he never did. So we look okay. to the left and look to the left. And we were looking underneath the bench here for it, where uh, we, because uh, I heard it in here earlier. And you can smell him. He smells oh, like a. Oh yeah. He yeah. smells like so a we skunk. We know we were here. He, we know we were here. And what's that? Your uh, walnuts? Yeah, that's oh, the good. walnuts. They, oh no, that's that's. No, know. that's a uh, what do they call that? Briquettes. Yeah, briquettes. Yeah, briquettes. Yeah, okay. Briquettes, yeah. Then we so, made a comment about the Singer sewing machine, and he told yeah. me that his dad worked. With no, my it. grandfather. My oh, grandfather, grandfather probably made this uh, the base of this because he worked for Singer sewing. Okay, machine. so now you had the gun in your hand. Gun, my gun, right now. We were looking over here for the over for here. the uh, for the raccoon. We couldn't find it. We couldn't see it, I so I alive. didn't I think it was it. Your same so I put my it. hand over here like this, and to pull this out, to think it was in back of the, the this bucket here, this tub here, and uh, he just came right out and got my finger. And there he is. That's him. That's him. There's the critter that bit Doc Lamp. Yeah, that's. And him. he smells like skunk. Yes. Yes. I wonder if he got babies in there, because this is he's been in here for a while. You got that pair of pliers? Oh here it is. Yeah. Here, why don't you I'll grab him and pull him out of here so we can see him. There he is. Oh my goodness, man. That's oh good. man, he's a biggie. Don't there you are. You wanna well, get I, I got a elbow in mind. Where'd you shoot? Oh you got him right in the head. Yeah. A headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he smells like shit, Doc. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Man, okay. he took three. Woo! Okay. Was Shot him three. Oh, there you are. What a trophy. Now, hold on. I can oh. get a... Oh. Oh, he's, on, he's got loose. He's on the run. Highland Hill Farm is located on Route 313 in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, about two miles west of Doylestown. Our street address is 5275 West Swamp Road, which is Route 313. We're open 7 a.m., to 6 p.m. seven days a week. We have a wide selection of trees and shrubs. We have trees up to 4 inch caliper and arborvitae is up to about 14 foot tall. We can deliver and plant for you and we can deliver all over the East Coast and we service areas from Georgia to Tennessee up to Detroit, Michigan and also into Boston, New York City, Washington, D.C. corridors. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Again, that's 215-651-8329 for your trees and shrubs. I'm Bill Hurst, and this is Marge, my wife. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These are a 9 to 10 foot green giant. The green giant is a very fast growing tree. It can grow upwards to three feet a year. And as you can see, it's measuring to nine foot to the end of the main body of the tree. And the little tail that goes up, we don't really count. These trees can be planted from six to eight feet apart in straight rows or staggered rows. We do deliver and plant them up and down the east coast. And they're great for windbreaks, screens, and buffers. If you have a heavy population of deer, the tree will be damaged slightly.
what you might have to do if you have a lot of deer, you might have to spray it with some deer away. But generally speaking, if you have a, you know, a minor deer population, like a deer every week or every other week walking through your yard, this tree will not be bothered. If you have a minor deer population, even the emerald greens can be eaten alive. So we recommend the green giants for a lot of windbreaks and screens and buffers for their deer resistance, their bug resistance, and another good feature of this tree is that it grows predominantly with one single leader, as you see here. Now this leader can almost be bent back to the ground. It's a very tough plant, and it, you know it, it takes a lot of, lot of abuse, and it can withstand a lot of wind and snow damage. It's forgiving on the soil types, and it can take a little bit of shade. The reason it can take some shade is, as you can see, it's a little bit open. A very close, dense tree like the emerald green can take no shade, but the green giant is more open, so it can live in a, in a shaded environment. So give us a call. These are our 9 to 10 foot green giants at 215-651-8329. Thank you.